Hello guys. In today's practical simulation, I want us to talk about river capture. River capture can simply be defined as the situation whereby one river steals water from another river or when a more energetic river steals water from the less energetic river. But how can one river steal water from another river? Okay, before I explain any further, this is the simulation of river capture before it happens. The river on top there is going to form part of the captured river, which is a river whose water will be stolen. The bottom river will be kept a stream, which is the river that will steal water off another river. These two rivers are flowing on different drainage basins, so they are separated by the watershed. Now let us look at the conditions necessary for the river capture to occur. Number one, one river must be on a lower altitude and the other one must be on a higher altitude. Number two, the tributary of the Kepta River must have active headward erosion to erode through the watershed and cause obstruction of the watershed. Number three, there must be an increase in rainfall. Lastly, one river must be flowing on a steep gradient over a soft rock that is easily eroded. Now all these conditions will eventually lead to the tributary of the Kepta stream to intercept and divert the beheaded water of the captured river. Now more water will be flowing down the Kepta stream and less water into the misfit stream. Okay, now let us look at the features of river capture that we need to know. 1. The exact point where river capture happened or the point where river capture actually took place is called the elbow of capture. Number two, the dry space between the elbow of capture and the misfit stream is called the wind gap, which is characterized by the river gravel. Sometimes next to the elbow of capture, the waterfall might occur. The part of the captured river that will be left with little water and may be left to dry out is called the misfit stream. 